Good morning. I'm glad you're here. Uh, it's almost 10 o'clock. So we start at 10. I needed to get my camera rolling and make sure everything is just the way it should be. And yay. I see that. Oh, but why is my. Hold on a minute. I've got to make sure my sound is off. There we go. Okay. All right. So, I don't know about you, but my favorite season of the year is fall. And I think I may have said that now. And I, I think I said this too. I love Christmas because of what it stands for. But fall, I love fall. I love the colors. I love the sounds, the smells, um, everything about it. And, you know, yesterday I was able to go outside on the deck with my Bible and my study material and sit out there. Oh, it was wonderful because it was so nice and cool. So fall is here or it's, it's, it's on its way. And I've got my fall decorations up. Do you have yours up? Um, yeah, I put them up the 1st of September because I want, I want to enjoy them for as long as I can. Um, so hi Kate. I see that you're on here. Yay, you're back. I can't wait to talk to you um, about your trip. So anyway, today is Third Thursday, Mystery Card Day. And I love Mystery Card. I watch Mystery Card replays and, and, and I have my stuff gathered up and I do them. And mine doesn't, my card doesn't always turn out looking great. But I've learned a new process, and I go back then and, and make another one, and, and um, so I love Mystery Card, and that's why I do it once a month. So we're going to get started on this. I'm going to move my phone over to the iPod, and um, so hang on for just a minute. As always, it's not always just where it should be. Okay. All right. So, clue one. I hope you got your materials and gathered up your materials and you have them ready to go. Um, Kay, I know you, you haven't had a whole lot of time, but hopefully you had some time to do that. I'm going to turn this just a tad and see if it doesn't. I don't like things that aren't straight. Are you that way? I am just, I am paranoid, I guess, when it comes to things that aren't straight. And look, I'm trying to straighten it up and I can't tell from the camera which is straight. So anyway, here, here's your clue one. Um, I tell you what though, while you're, if you haven't gotten your stuff together, maybe you'll have just a minute or two to do that and um, hopefully you can see that um, I do want to tell you that October 2nd is World Card Making Day and I'm planning an event here at the house for Saturday October 2nd um, I just think it will be so much fun to get together and it won't be a, a class or a workshop. It's, it's going to be more of a time to get together and make cards. So, um, I hope you'll keep October 2nd open. I also want you to know that I think we have about two weeks left of celebration. So, if there's something that you didn't, you weren't able to get and you want it, then be sure and... and um, Get an order in and get that free celebration product. All right. So, clue one. Eight and a half by five and a half colored cardstock that coordinates with the designer series paper that you've chosen. 
and you're going to score it at four and a quarter. Then a piece of um, basic white or very vanilla, whatever um, coordinates with the papers you've chosen, four by five and a quarter, just your basic um, card front size. And then you're going to need a piece of designer series paper cut three and a half by one and seven eighths. Three and a half by one and seven eighths. And then you're going to need a coordinating piece of designer series paper, three and seven eighths by one and a half. And then you're, you need the same color cardstock as you used for your base. And you need that to be three and a half by one and seven eighths. And run it through an embossing folder, that piece. Run it through an embossing folder. If you have a folder that coordinates with your designer series paper, that's great. If not, just pick a favorite embossing folder and run it through there. And then you're going to need a large label or a shape that's approximately 2 by 3 cut from the same cardstock as the base and this little piece here. And then a slightly smaller label cut from, or shape, cut from basic white or very vanilla, whichever you're using. This is for your sentiment. And then you need a sentiment that fits on that label and then a piece of ribbon. So, all right, are we ready for clue one? I mean, clue two. <laughs> Here we go. Adhere your four by five and a quarter basic white or very vanilla to the colored cardstock base. I'm gonna try to. I'm just gonna see if I can. I guess I can't. I was going to see if I could. Maybe I can lower this a little bit. I can see if I can lower it down a little bit. Where you can see this a little bit better. There we go. How's that? Is that better? So adhere your white or very vanilla to the colored cardstock base. All right. Okay, are you making this card with me? I'll look for your answer here in a minute. All right. Clue three. Now you're going to adhere the three and a half by one and seven eighths designer series paper to the top left side of your card front. And you want to leave a really small edge around the top and the side. So you're going to take that piece of designer series paper, the three and a half by one and seven eighths, and you're going to adhere it just with um, tape runner or liquid glue to the top left side of the card front, leaving a small edge around the top and the side. Okay. I didn't see your answer, Kay. I don't want to go too fast for you if you're doing this with me. I hope you are. This is a really simple card, but it's it's so unique. I love it. I've used this pattern with several different papers. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Then I don't need to go too slow. I think you're the only one on here right now. All right. All right. So clue four. Adhere the embossed cardstock piece, that piece of cardstock that you embossed, onto the card front opposite the DSP, leaving an edge all around. So on the opposite side, on the top right side of your card, adhere the embossed cardstock piece. I'm hoping that there will be those who are who will watch the replay and do this. So I'm not going to rush through it, but I'm not going to worry about Kay not staying caught up. All right, so now you've got a, a piece of DSP, designer series paper, 
on the top left corner of your card front and now your embossed cardstock on the top right corner of your cardstock. Okay. All right, clue five. Now you've got another piece of designer series paper, paper and you're going to adhere that along the bottom. Underneath your other two pieces, along the bottom, leaving an edge. So your, your remaining piece of designer series paper, this is the one that was, um, three and seven eighths by one and a half. This is your narrow one. So really, you're gonna see this card is so simple. I mean, it's just a matter of getting these pieces down on the, on the card stock, on the card base. All right, clue six. Now you want to take your larger label, your larger, the cardstock label, the one that's that you cut out of the same paper as your card base, your card stock is the card base. You're gonna adhere this over the area where the three pieces meet in the center. So now you're putting your larger label down and you're putting it over the area where the three pieces meet in the center. Okay. And that's just with liquid glue or tape runner because we're going to pop the next label up and you don't want too much dimension or height on your card. Okay. All right, clue seven. Now stamp your sentiment onto the smaller label. Go ahead and stamp your sentiment onto the smaller label. And using dimensionals, adhere the sentiment piece in the center of the larger label. And these labels do not have to be at all the same shape. You, it, they can be. But they don't have to be. So you're stamping your sentiment and then you're putting this label with dimensionals into the center, onto the center of the larger label. And then clue eight, tie a bow and attach to the bottom of the sentiment piece with a glue dot. I told you this was a simple card. <laughs> My pieces keep running away from me. All right. Oh, okay, I wish you'd done it with me. I'd love to see. So you'll have to do this card now so that I can see what yours looks like. And you're going to know you know the general idea all right are you ready are you ready to see my card all right here it is make sure that it's showing i'm waiting for it to come up on my screen nope all right there we go i think it's showing now all right that's it but isn't that gorgeous? It's just so simple. But I think the, one of the things that makes it stand out is this piece of embossed cardstock. So I used the Wildcats paper. And I have the, the animal print embossing folder. And so, you know, I used it 
to coordinate with that, but it wouldn't have to be, um, it wouldn't have to be that. It could be any embossing folder because what it does, it gives it texture. It gives it texture. And then, of course, your labels. Um, I could have done them the same, the same label. One of the labels that I've been using lately, and I've got this set. Let me find it. Well, hold on. Where is it? Uh, oh, here it is. <laughs> I, I bought this set of dies specifically for the labels. I didn't, I don't have the Hippo um, stamp set. But in this set of dies, besides the hippopotamus and the, I don't know, unicorn and the lamb, um, it also has these awesome label dies. So that's why I bought the set of dies, was to get this set of label dies. And I say that to say I used one of these. I think I used this one for the big label. And I wanted to go ahead and use this one, but I also didn't want you to think that you had to use labels that were the same, that were the same shape. So these dies are really great. So it's funny, I have this stamp set. I have all these other stamps that are dies that I wouldn't be able to use really unless I, well, the butterfly maybe and the, the bow tie, but I bought, I bought these dies for these labels. I just love them and I've used them so much. All right, that's it. Uh, that was a quick one, a quick video, but I knew it would be. I knew it would be because this is a simple card. Now, you could add whatever you wanted to add to it, but I thought it really didn't need anything else. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the mystery card today. And Kay, you need to go get those things out. I mean, there's not much, really. Not, not even much cutting. So go make one. And I know yours will be beautiful. I hope that um, if you're watching, if you watch the replay to this, I hope that you will comment so that I'll know you're wa that you've watched the replay. Just give me a smiley face or a thumbs up um, or comment. I'd love to know because I know that there are those who are watching it. Now, later on this afternoon, I will put the rest of these clues, the I put the instructions, the basic instructions, or clue one, on my blog. But I will put the rest of the card making instructions on the blog. And I will make um, turn this video into YouTube. And I'll have the YouTube link on there too. Because I know that some of my friends do not watch Facebook or have Facebook. So... I, it also goes on my blog. Everything I do goes on my blog. And you can always go here and get complete instructions for things. And if you do, please click hit follow so that um, it will register and it will notify you. I think it does. I don't know what it does because I'm not, you know... I think it will notify you when I make a new post on my blog. But at any rate, if you would click over on the left side of my blog, click follow. And um, I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you, Kay. Thank you for watching this live. And I'm anxious to talk to you. And um, for those of you who are watching the replay, thank you so much. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.